From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Violet Skybor. Good evening, everyone. Showers and thunderstorms are across the region, and the rain looks to become widespread as we go throughout this evening. Definitely want to keep the umbrella handy as well. A live look from our Cap V Tower Cam, seeing that rain coming down across the Mohawk Valley, and a line of some heavier rain is moving in to the east, the southeast. A live look from my Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 radar. Where it is exactly is just north of Cooperstown, and it's heading to the northeast. So if you are in Utica or anywhere along the thruway and you're heading east, you'll be driving through this within the next hour or two as this rain stays widespread. Now the rain will continue as we head overnight and into tomorrow with a better chance to see some thunderstorms, and those could be on the stronger side tomorrow. This is because a low pressure system that's bringing this rain is actually going to dive directly through New York State. And when it does, that's when it will produce some thunderstorms, especially tomorrow afternoon. And on top of that, it's going to be bringing in some warm and humid air for the end of the week. But as we look into the weekend, some hot air is going to move in from the west. Right now it's over South Dakota and the four corner states. It's going to be moving in as we go short Saturday and Sunday and looks to continue as we head into next week and take a look at this. This is our temperature trend again tomorrow highs in the mid 70s as that rain keeps us cool, but only going up from there as we dry out into the weekend in the 80s and then we'll be near 90 for Sunday, Monday, even Tuesday and Wednesday still looks to be in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Before this evening, nice and comfortable outside. Temperatures in the 60s. It is a little bit muggy as we are seeing those rain showers, but still nice and cool. 63 for Dick and Curtis Corners, 69 for Lou and Barneveld, 62 up in West Leiden, and 66 up in Old Forge for Bill. As we head down to the Southern Valleys this evening, 61 for Richfield Springs, 60 for Scott and Edmiston, and for Ted and Morris, and 62 for Helen and Cassville. So over this evening, we are going to see that rain become widespread. Models don't show as much rain as we're actually expecting. And the rain continues going into tonight as we drop down into the lower 50s. Heading into your Thursday, starting off with widespread rain. And it's looking to be mostly showers for the morning commute. As we go towards the afternoon to evening commute, that's when those thunderstorms will develop. And some of them could be on the stronger side with heavy rain, even gusty winds. And even the chance for some of them to become severe, mainly across the southern valleys is the greatest risk, and it will be for those high winds. Could even see some minor flooding if we do get enough rainfall underneath those thunderstorms. For tonight, a low around 60 with those showers continuing and some patchy fog. Tomorrow, some strong thunderstorms with highs reaching the mid 70s. Here's a look at the rest of your forecast. A few isolated thunderstorms on Friday, and then we'll be warming up from there as we dry out into the weekend with more sunshine. Highs reach the 80s and then the 90s heading into next week. Hopefully you have a pool so that you can keep yourself cool. We'll be right back.